I believe that genetic medicines will become the most common technology and that every scientist can now be a drug developer through genetic medicines. Once you know a disease, how you want to treat a disease or what disease gene you want to target and which way you want to do that, you can very rapidly now find the sequence of the molecule you want to use as the drug substance and essentially print it out, go to a supplier or, or print it out on a, a machine. And so this is just dropping the barrier for how people can develop drugs in ways that haven't been possible before. Uh, and we're seeing this now that scientists that do not have drug development backgrounds are able to rapidly get into this field. And it's, it's very exciting. It'll unlock just so much innovation and so much uh, activity in therapeutics that hasn't existed before. It's ex extremely exciting. So I think the future is extremely bright for this field and we'll see tremendous innovation both in uh, how we can treat disease but also how uh, medicine is distributed and administered. The barrier is going to be the clinical validation of the different modalities and unlocking uh, through delivery, being able to deliver these genetic medicines to different tissues. There's all sorts of different tools that we can use to treat disease and these technologies are being applied um, to solve areas of high end medical need in infectious disease, but in many areas, including cancer, rare diseases, metabolic diseases, really every type of indication. So it, it really is a, an exciting time in biotech and tremendous innovation is happening very quickly and accelerating, meaning that as citizens and patients, we're going to have more tools to help treat our diseases as, as they come.